Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 17 of the Travel Biz Project. In the last class, we were discussing about uh, row command event. We will we'll continue the same event in this session also. So here, as we already discussed that, uh, whenever user clicks on any standard button within the grid view control, then automatically row command event will fire. This row command will have two properties, object sender and grid view command event are class. And grid view command event are class is extending from, is inheriting from command event args class, where command event args class comes of two properties, command argument and command name. So within the grid view control, we displayed um, two buttons, one is delete button, other one is update button. So when user clicks on delete button or update button, then automatically row command event will fire. Here you see, when user clicks on delete button, then row command event will fire. And when user clicks on update button also, row command event will fire. Now we need to write the code within the row command. So this, uh, um, here we are discussing about two properties. One is command name, other one is command argument. What is the use of command name property? Command name property is used to set the name for the button control. It is used to identify that which button was clicked. So here. Within the grid view, here we display two buttons. These two buttons are which buttons? Link buttons. What is the difference between hyperlink button and link button? Hyperlink button is just used to navigate from one page to another page. We cannot post back the request to the server. But link button is used to post back the request to the server. So when to go for hyperlink button and when to go for link button. If you just want to navigate from one page to another page, then go for hyperlink button. And when user clicks on button control, you want to perform some operation. For that, you have to write some logic. It means that the request is pushed back to the server. In that case, you have to go for link button. Now here, when user clicks on delete button, I need to write some delete code. And when user clicks on update button, I need to write some code. It has to perform some operation. For that, so these two buttons are uh, link buttons. Now, here, go to the source code and uh, within that source code you can find um, ASP colon link button id is equals to link button 1 and link button 2 and within this link button here you can find a property called command name I will give the name as cmd delete some command name I will give similarly for the other link button I will give the command name as cmd update is it clear so what is the use of command name property it is used to identify that which button was clicked now, within this uh, um, uh, row command event, I will write the code. As I told that uh, this uh, command name and command argument properties are available in command event args class. As grid view command event args class is extending from command event args class, then automatically these two properties are available in the derived class. Because of inheritance, inheritance is a mechanism of obtaining the variables and methods from one class to another class. I hope you know about the concept. So here, how to call the properties? You can call the properties by using object name dot property name. Here the object name is E. So I will write some code here. If E dot command name dot to string is equals to here I will write cmd delete. Then I want to write this code else if here I will write something like E dot command name dot to string is equals to cmd update cmd update is it clear so here i want to display one small message saying that response dot write off here I, I want to display one small message saying that delete button was clicked delete button was clicked and similarly here i will write one more message saying that update button was clicked is it clear now here you say debug and check the output so here when user clicks on delete button or update button then row command event only will fire so i will click on delete button then row command event will fire now the command name for that delete button is cmd delete so the condition is true so it will display delete button was clicked so when you click on update button now here the if condition is false so it will go to the else part and it will execute the second code so it means that when user clicks on delete button within the if we will write the delete code and when user clicks on update button, here we will write the update code. So here when user clicks on delete button, we can delete the record based on the row index. So we need to catch the row index within the row command event. That is the main part actually. 
right so here i will write the code how to write grid view row row is equals to grid view row of grid view row of and here i will write grid view one dot grid view one dot rows of e dot row index but the problem here is you cannot find the row index here that is a major task so here i will try to go to the source code and within the source code here you have the link button one within the link button one i use the property command argument so what is the use of command argument property when user clicks on delete button i want to catch the row index so for this here i will write the code command argument is equals to less. so here i will write the code within the link button one here i have written command argument is equals to less than percentile hash grid view row of container dot row index so here you can see what is the meaning of this when user clicks on delete button or update button we need to catch the index value of the row where user clicks on delete button so row index property is used to catch the index value of the row right so here now i will try to go to the uh, uh, c sharp code and here i will write generally we will write e dot row index but row index property will not available in row command event so we already cache the row index in where um, command argument property so here what i will do i will try to declare one variable here int row index is equals to something like convert dot to into 32 of e dot command argument dot to string so now here i will try to pass the row index i hope you understood right now so here whenever user clicks on delete button first of all we need to catch the row index the index value of the row each and every row in the grid view control can be identified by using the index value we need to catch the row index and then we need to catch the uh, column name based on which we want to delete the record so i want to delete the record based on what did so here go to the source code and um, your did is available in where label control so we need to catch this label control that is available within the grid view row so here we already captured the row index now in that row we need to catch the label control so here i will write label l is equals to label of label of here i will write there is one method called find control method pro dot find control of what is the control id label one here you don't confuse go to the source code here you see bind of did because we are deleting the record based on did is it clear now this value how to set to the business objects so business objects dot business objects obj bo is equals to new business objects of now obj bo dot um, here you can see did is equals to l i hope you understood sorry l dot text label dot text is it clear now i need to delete the record for that uh, i have to go to the data access layer and within the data access layer i need to write one method so here hash region the name of the region is delete destination point here i will write one method so public int delete destination point and for this method i am passing the business objects business objects obj bo create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure and pass the value because here we are deleting the record based on did we already set the did in the presentation layer so first we need to create the stored procedure so here i will try to create the stored procedure create procedure procedure name parameter set the rate did as begin and delete from destination where did is equal to set the rate did because i want to delete the record based on did right and now build the solution now here i'll go to the business logic layer and declare one more method so within the um, business logic layer i declare one region delete destination point and here i written one more method and uh, business logic layer will interact with data access layer so we call the delete destination point build the solution now here go to the view destination points dot aspx dot cs within this if now i want to delete the record so i need to create an object for business logic layer dot business logic layer obj bll is equals to new business logic layer of now call the method obj bll dot delete destination points is it clear and i have to pass obj bo 
and the written type of this method is what int i is equals to and after the record is deleted i want to again call the fill d points method is it clear here i am not using any message i don't want to display here you say how it is working so your admin will log in with his username and password and view the destination points and whenever user clicks on delete button here i will click on vijayawada or will uh, try to delete the last one so i will go to the i will click on bangalore delete so press uh, row command event was fight now uh, here you see row index so generally in git view control each and every index value of the row can be identified by using index number here the index number is start from 0 1 here 2 here 3 here 4 so i clicked on bangalore so the row index is what 4 so here you see in the row index i want to catch the label control is it clear so what is the value that is available in that label i want to catch the text did underscore 9 now i set that value to my did now presentation layer is interacting with what business logic layer now business logic layer will interact with what data access layer and here you see the value that we are passing for the parameter is did underscore nine execute the query the record is successfully deleted and here you can see again bind the data press f5 go to your database and check whether bangalore is deleted or not so right click on destination edit top 200 rows execute i hope bangalore is deleted is it clear in this manner you can work with row command event now here when user clicks on update button uh, i want to update the record so what i want to do here i will go to the project add new item i will select web form with master pass the name i will try to give as update d points dot aspx add button okay button so go to the design so my design will look like this did two text boxes one update button and one cancel button so here when user clicks on update button i want to navigate to the next page that is here you see so before that here a small modification within the source code i have given the wrong name here cmd update just pause for for that one with the link button to uh, now here when user clicks on update button it has to navigate to the next page debug and check the output so here you click on view now here when user clicks on update button it has to navigate to next page and in this uh, updated points it has to display the did of uh, vijayawada in the text box 1 and the d name the vijayawada in text box 2 and now if i update the text it has to and click on update button it has to update in the database when i click on cancel it has to clear the value i hope you understood see here when i click on for example see here when user clicks on this uh, update button it has to display the did the did is did underscore one and the d name in the next page in these two text boxes i hope you understood anyway we'll do this task in the next video i hope you understood for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel Have a nice day. Thank you.